Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com. Use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal. It helps with the show. They have that good old-fashioned Theros Beyond Death stuff. And man, they still have those sweet, sweet deals on sleeves. Gotta say, it's like the only, it's the only place I buy sleeves now. I literally live like buy a card shop. And I know like support your local store. But it's so good. The value is so good. It's hard to say no to the value. Speaking of value, today we're going to be playing an Ashok Exile deck. Uh, it is an Esper deck that uses a lot of cards that say Exile. Most of, most of them say most of them say exile. Not all of them. Most of them. Um, look, I saw the new Ashiok and I was like, "We have Kaya. We have plenty of things that exile. We have plenty of decks right now that care about not being exiled. A lot of graveyard shenanigans going on. This says fuck that. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. So I'm gonna jump real quick into this and we're gonna hop into some games. Three cling to dust. You might be saying that seems excessive. One, fuck you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little sassy today i don't know why <laughs> no one there are a lot of mono deck uh mono black decks running around those decks really like their stupid witches oven combo this stops that combo and gains you some life and against uh, uh if they don't have the witches uh, oven combo specifically you can still use this to interrupt um certain things that your opponent's doing you know you can respond to the um the demon trigger whose name i forget you can respond to that uh, in response, you exile the card that just died. Um, and against many other decks, you know, you, you hit their um, their Uros. Um, or if they just have nothing, you can cycle it to draw a card. And if you need to use it later, you can. Fantastic. Um, one of the weaker cards for sure, just because it is relatively uh, situational. But maybe you cut this down to two. Not sure. Three Yarks Fenlurker. This card says, get out of your hand, son. <laughs> Um, I decided to do a 3-3 split with this and Agonizing Remorse, um, mainly because Yark's uh, Fenlurker can at the very least block things, and Agonizing Remorse actively deals this damage, which is not the best, but still. Um, Fenlurker, very helpful. We can, if we have to, uh, start using uh, its ability. Its shade ability, even though it's not a shade, whatever. Um, Agonizing Remorse is just a, a, a pretty damn good uh, good card. Now, you might be saying, well, why aren't you playing Thought Erasure? Uh, one, Thought Erasure doesn't exile. Two, this does exile. And three, this can hit cards in the graveyard, whereas Thought Erasure only hits cards in hand. So, I do like the value here. Also, for what it's worth, it makes it so our blue requirements early game are a little bit uh, less stringent. Two D Spark. Sometimes, uh, you have to do with big things. Namely, Nyx, Blue Machants, Nisses, um, things like that. This deals with those. Unfortunately, of course, it doesn't deal with Uro. It doesn't deal with essentially anything in mono black except for the like the two highest CMC cards. But you know, whatever. I'm playing two Hound or sorry, I'm playing two Kunoros, Hound of Athros, because one, I want this card to be good, and two, uh, this helps hopefully against mono black. It says creature cards can't uh, creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield, so it stops the Witch's Oven combo. Um, it stops escape. Players can't cast spells from graveyard at all. Um, it also just has Vigilance, Menace, and Lifelink. That seems like it would be good. <laughs> we'll see. I, for what it's worth, it, I only have just a two of, so I haven't been able to, to see it in either of my practice games, but on paper, it seems decent in this deck. Three Banishing Lights. It's just catch-all removal. You, you just get rid of it if it's already resolved. Three Cry of the, Canar Cry of the Canarium. Uh, aggro decks are still everywhere. This also happens to Exile. Two Teferis, you might be saying, well, he doesn't exile. Sometimes you need to reset your Banishing Lights. Um, you know, if you have Teferi, you can bounce a Banishing Light, forcing their creature back onto the battlefield into a Cry of the Canarium or a Kaiser or something like that. Um, Teferi can also technically bounce your Ashiok's Eraser. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of reasonable things um, that you might want to be doing with Teferi. And it just makes it so your opponent can't uh, counter your own spells. Um, you know, this this deck definitely is strongest against kind of mid-rangey decks uh, and is weakest against pure control decks, but Teferi helps out a little bit because it makes it so we're, we're more likely to be able to resolve our, um, our, our, our Ashiok, frankly. Three Kayas. She does a pretty good job. Uh, you know, minus one gets rid of a few things from a lot of different decks, you know. Any, um, like, super small mana dorks, it gets rid of um, tokens that aren't clones. And then, of course, the plus one, you just exile shit from your opponent. It's great. Minus five, you kill your opponent in this deck. Like, you're exiling things so fast, as long as they're playing cards. Two, Ashok Dream Render, you're milling them. They can't search their libraries, but that's not going to happen too often in Standard. But you're, ju you're just milling them and yanking their graveyard out from under them. It's fantastic. Two, Ashok's Eraser. I like this card. 
I've only gotten to use it once, but when I did use it, it was good. Um, I used it on a Hydro Crisis, so my Simic Ramp opponent couldn't, or excuse me, Bant Ramp opponent couldn't Crisis again. And then they like, bounced it with Teferi, which was weird because I had mana open to just counter Crisis again, but they conceded before that happened. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, this is like Ixalan's Binding, except Ixalan's Binding can hit things that are on the field, but Ashiok's Erasure can hit all spells. Your opponent plays some instant that you don't want to see them play. Bada bing, bada boom. Ashok's Eraser. They can't cast that shit for the rest of the game. It's fantastic. E2 Extinction. It is big exile removal. And you can put a thing in your graveyard. It, this literally is in here because it's exile removal. Two, one Kai's Wrath. Um, we initially had two and two split. Um, I found that there was too, there are too many aggro decks for me to be comfortable um, playing uh, two and two. I, I felt I needed the three. So a single Kai's Wrath. We get to blow some stuff up. Doesn't exile, but who cares? One Elspeth Conqueror's Death, because I really like this card. Um, yeah, exile a thing. This can exile, you know, relatively small things as well, which is nice. Uh, your your control opponent, I guess, has a little bit harder time. That middle ability is just like, I get it. It's a de it's definitely an on-white ability. <laughs> it just seems not as strong <laughs> as it could. Um, and then, of course, the, the third allows us to buy back a, an, an Ashiok. Um... Mostly an Ashiok. Technically, we can get the other ones, but Ashiok's the best. Speaking of Ashiok, five mana for five loyalty walker. You make two threes that block and attack exile two. Fantastic. Minus three. You bounce something and you force your opponent to exile a card. Very, very similar to dispersal, um, except your opponent has an exile. And you get to choose what they bounce. Fantastic. Minus seven. You may cast up to three face-up exile cards your opponent's own from exile without paying their mana cost. That is the PS de resistance that kind of is like the linchpin of may how we win. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll get to show that off. This is the mana base. It is fine. We have 10 shocks and 9 temples. I believe that is correct. Um, and I think that's just about right. We have not had any mana problems. I will talk about the few cards in the sideboard after the games. We are only in play mode because this is still a meme, right? We are forcing ourselves to play Exile cards almost exclusively. Um, so it does mean that the deck is technically worse. Um, we did play some practice games with this. Uh, I played against Bant Ramp, which was essentially just Simic Ramp, except it had access to Teferi. Um, that really did seem to be the, the only through line. I will keep this hand. Temple on turn one is nice. We have an early cling to dust if our opponent is doing, um, you know, Cat Oven. And then we, of course, have Agonizer Remorse and a Cry, so... It's, it's fine. Um, obviously, against... Okay. Well, this is... Cry is still fine here, luckily. Um, we'll take the Galashan, but we're not going to like it, unfortunately. Um, and I think, honestly, I'm probably not going to try and... When it dies, it deals two damage. Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure here I'm not even going to try and Agonizing Remorse... Um, I do have to kind of hope that my opponent is playing something that I can kill with Cry, but I don't want to. I don't want to feel pain, so like I, I don't. I, I want to minimize the amount of damage I'm doing to myself. Um, something I can kill, please. That is not something I can kill, unfortunately. Ow. Luckily, no deaths occurred. Still. Two power. Um, I guess next turn I probably just Ashiok. Damn. They, can, they played... Uh, relatively conservatively um I think I Temple of Deceit and Kaya exile this taking four next turn yeah yeah cause it, if they send stuff at Kaya that helps a lot a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. You won. 
this time. Adult Temple. Not Agonizing Remorse, that's for darn sure. I can Elspeth to exile this. Come on, kill, kill Kaya, please. Don't hit me in the face. Oh, they're hitting me in the face. I do not like that, Sam. I am. Okay. Um, do you help me at all? I'm just read about a kill spell. I haven't seen any burn from them. So I'm hoping they just don't have any. But if they do, I can eat my own dog. Want something banished? Funny, that's what I do. Okay, so I can... If, if if bad things happen, I can eat my own dog. Would Annex or another create... Just one? If the creature had, Oh, if the creature had power four, greater create two. Okay. The CMC three? Yes, so I actually would rather block the Rhyme Rock Knight. Because then I can get rid of... And acts easier. I'm gonna pass the blocks. Block here. Pass the damage. And I'm probably going to eat that. All right, let's... Yeah, I'm just gonna eat theirs. And then I can exile the satyr and exile this. I'm gonna exile the satyr first. I don't think it actually matters, but I'm gonna do that first. Technically, I could have um, uh, eaten, I... eaten um, my own dog to, <laughs> to gain some more life, but... Alright, let's see. D Spark is not what I want in this deck. So yeah, that middle that middle one is pretty useless. Ashok, I I might actually Ashok myself. One, two, three. So if I top deck a land, I can Ashok myself and cling to dust. I don't like that. Okay, that's fine. Because I can exile this. Do you choose not to play it just because I can exile it? Because that doesn't seem correct. Okay. Huh. So I could exile... The, I'm at five. My opponent has one card in hand. Their burn spells are going to cost two more. So they shouldn't be able to kill me, because it would be three. So I think I, I Ashiok, bounce this. And exile this. Fuck yeah, dude. Beaten Mono Red with a meme-ass Esper Exile deck. I like it. Our second... Uh, good old patient practice game was against four color self mill I guess they were playing red the only red cards I saw were um, the storm storm's wrath I assume they were uh, they were also playing um, uh, I'll keep this um, I assume they were also playing um, what are those damn cards called if 
phoenixes. Um, but I didn't see those uh, because they they conceded when I started exiling all the shit. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and Fenworker here. Next turn, depending on what they play, we can either um, Temple and Pass, or we can Water Grave Banishing Light. So what did they exile? Omen of the Hunt. Okay. So this is Bant Ramp. It looks like Bant Enchantments. Okay. Um, so that's gonna get Banishing Light because fuck you. Um, if the Enchantress deck has an Enchantress out, things usually go poorly. If I top deck an untapped land next turn, I can eat something. Now they might... Ban okay, they, they didn't actually. I was going to say they might Banishing Light my Banishing Light, but they did not, so that's all fine. Well, that's just interesting. Um... Another temple? Honestly, I think I'm fine with that. I'm just going to Yark my opponent. My opponent's going to be down to one card in hands. Even if they counter this, they're going to be down to one card in hand. Alright, so... Let's see what they exile. They exiled another omen. So this is just uh, an omen deck, it seems. I mean, it's cool. Um, but, you know, they're, they're low on cards. They really needed that Satessan enchantment. Or, so Tessin Champion. I can even cling to dust uh, this Fable Passage to draw a card. And that's that shit I do like. So I can essentially breeze by my Temple of Deceit. Okay. I see you. I will eat two. Yeah. So I'm going to cling to dust this... Then I can despark this, I guess. Because at this point, I'm not worried about this card. Right, this card gives them essentially nothing now. It's all about the Archon's Grace. Um, I'll, I'll eat it. I just want to get through my deck a little bit faster. Um, do I want to play Castle Lock Twain? No, I don't. So yes, I'm, so, I'm just going to despark this. I'm going to Temple, Godless Shrine, I don't need it. Technically there are situations where we need double white, but should be okay right now. We are technically winning the race, but it's a matter of time until my opponent gets a Nissa or something like that. No, nope, an Enigmatic Incarnation, so they can go get a 4-drop, and then I'll eat that 4-drop. So what are they going to get? Also, why do they tap like this? I assume it was the auto-tapper, but it's... It's just weird. I'm get a 4-drop. Creature, yeah. I mean, they could get another horse. Archon, excuse me. For my incredible rudeness. I assume my opponent's looking through their own deck list to, to double check to see if they want to use this. Art's oh, fantastic. Alright, they're they're going for it. Then get a four drop that I will eat alive. That's currently not a creature, so that is a little awkward. But what isn't awkward is the fact that I can Still be annoying. Um, I can bounce this or this. I mean, honestly, I think I just bounced the Thassa. Yeah, I think I bounced Thassa. Bye, Thassa. I'm known for my excellent time. Go away. I've got it. Oh, look, it's another E2 extinction. Don't mind if I do. I have nothing to, that I can cast at instant speed for that, so. It's all good. Look, Thass is back. Are you gonna go to 5 drop? I'm fine if you get a 5 drop. Nope. That's that's fine with me. This might be a bad idea. 3 6. Honestly? I think I'm just gonna hit in for 4.
I'll do a middle ground. I'll hit in for three and hold up an eight to extinction. There we go. They might be thinking that I'm holding up for Castle Lockdown, especially since I'm hovering over it. But I'm actually holding up for eight to extinction. For that card. Extra card, discard a card. Shit. Can gain hexproof. And regardless, I'll be able to kill it. Why is it? They might be trying to get a six drop. I want to waste. I want them to waste all of their shit. So if they want to discard whatever they have in their hand in order to protect this, I think I'm fine with that. Could just be a land, but no, nope, it was Wolf Pippin. That's fine. Sure. Fun fact. That's fine. I don't care. I have another one. No, I am not making this up as I go. No, I am not making this up as I go. Um, I think I'm going to hold up a Cling to Dust. This is going to go in the graveyard. I guess I could just Cling to Dust now. Yeah, I don't care about the life. I want to draw a card. Alright, Banishing Light. Not bad. I did lower my... Uh, my... Clock? Jesus. <laughs> Brain RB so small. Um, I did lower my clock somewhat because I didn't uh, pump, but I'll be able to pump later on for more. Yada, yada, yada. My opponent had nothing. I assume they're going to fast a tap, maybe? Oh, look, it's Athreos. Um... Benching light. No, they tap one down. It's totally fine with me. Bye, Thassa. Have a beautiful time. Two plus this. Um. Trust me, I have a plan. Do I play my Hound? Yeah, I don't... Like, even if they have a board wipe, I don't see them really crawling back into this game. They would need board wipe into... Yeah, okay, cool, cool. They would, like, need board wipe into a Krasis. But even if they just had a board wipe, I'd still have my... I, yeah, I think I'd be fine. Hit, hit up another one. We haven't actually gotten to, like, really do a lot with the exiling. <laughs> which is sad. We have been getting a lot of cards into exile. We just haven't been doing anything with it. <laughs> Siege I. Siege A. Uh, we're going first, which is always nice. We have a clean to dust early. We got an Ashiok. We got an Ashiok's Erasure. I'll keep could be slow, you know, if we don't have it. We don't have a, a board wipe early. Kaiserath, I, I'm willing to keep that. Um, our opponent with the Fibblethip and Fibblethip. Green? Blue. Alright. Now we're just going to play this deck. Next turn we can Ashiok. Blue, red, okay. All right. Kept on top. Fun fact: um, it's gone. I'm I'm sorry for your loss, but that card is gone now. <clears throat> There's another land. Oh, they're playing Just Guy Fires. Okay. My was but a dream. Yeah, I assume this is Just Guy Fires. New version, perhaps, but that's what I assume it is. Narset. Um, Nars is fine. I can banish that if I want. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what it looks like. I could banish it, or I could just Ashiox Eraser. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't feel super worried about their Narset. You this has been a nightmare. Fast turn. And if I'm insane, I could totally um just draw a bunch of cards. Oh, you'll never play a Fires again. Not in this town. Oh, Ashex Razor. Not fucking bad. Put thoughtfulness before action. You can't cast it! What are you doing? Opponent, why? The shadows awaken. I, leave you with I mean, maybe they're... I mean, it, se it seems like they're playing Prison Realm, not Banishing Light. So... Just gonna play uh, Sarkin. Yeah, that's that's how the card works. All right, Sarkin, cool. You get a minus for your Sarkin. Wow. Your end has arrived. Mine hasn't done shit. Fuck you. <laughs> um, we don't know what, we, or what we're gonna want yet with this temple. Um, honestly, I think I just banishing light this. Yeah, I think it's banishing like this. I'm not really worried about getting supreme value or anything. No, I just kill the Sarkin and get another dude. We're just exiling so much stuff. Listen to them roar. Those were two good exiles. What can I say? I can even technically bounce my own banishing light and just exile something of my own if I want. I don't need this. Fuck off. Um, yeah, let's let's keep exiling your stuff, dude. I mean, I guess I guess technically I could have um, cling to dust first, but that was that was even more like good shit to get rid of. So feeling relatively confident, com com confident. Oh my god, I can even Ashiok. Oh, oh, I can even Ashiok. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can actually, I can cast. I don't care about time wipe, dude. I'm gonna ultimate my Ashiok. I'm just gonna go ahead and exile this. Oh, it's so good. Um, well, let's uh, let's fend lurker because we can. Get rid of your fire zone invention because you're not casting it. You got rid of a shimmer. Sure, all right. Um, I'll keep this down, I guess. Uh, we're, we're minus seven. Like, I'm not going to be super greedy. I'm just going to be, you know, normally greedy. Sarkin. Ugin. And Narset, I guess. Yep. <laughs> it's so good. It's so incredibly good. Keep an open mind. Oh my god. The devastation. <laughs> the utter dominance. Secret I can't I can't attack with anyone, but that, honestly that's that's absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Exile tribal baby. They can even play like use Ugin to ferry. What? Are you going to bounce? I guess so they could they can play to ferry. Bounce the Ashiok's Eraser, play Fires, but I have D-Spark. I have D-Spark in hand. I understand. I understand that... Oh, they can't even draw. Get fucked. I understand that I can't do it on my turn. Who cares? This is their second card for a turn. Um, and they're actually just dead. Yeah, they're actually just dead, so I don't even care. Yeah. Yeah, I had lethal with Sarkin, so... I, I'm so happy that I was able to showcase the point of the deck. Fun wins. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk uh, really quickly about the sideboard. Uh, essentially, these are just cards that I also considered, um, or that you can consider in the sideboard. So we talked a little bit about about Thought Eraser already. Um, the surveil is nice. Don't get me wrong. The fact that you don't have to lose life from it is nice. Um, but agonizing remorse exiles, and it can hit graveyards. So I do like that. Deny the divine and um, no escape are very similar. This one hits creatures and enchantments. This one hits um, creatures and planeswalkers. This one. Get, gets to exile. This one also exiles, but it also scries, so 
you know, half of one, quarter of one, half a dozen. I don't fucking know. Um, they're both reasonable. Um, I think if you wanted to to maybe have it a little bit more instant speed heavy, you could probably include these. Um, I just I prefer the the game plan of just play these these great planeswalkers. Elspeth Nightmare really did surprise me um, on stream with how much I enjoy playing this card. Um, I think it's definitely a decent contender, and honestly, I would probably slot it in the sideboard just as some some decent additional removal. You know, it hits things like the Dryad that our um, our D Spark doesn't hit. Um, that our Crowd of Canarium doesn't hit, but this would hit it. You know, um, you're also getting rid of things like Ga uh, Gray Merchants. Um, I, I really do like this card. It also exiles, which is fantastic. Deputy of Detention. If you wanted to play a little bit more uh, creature heavy, um, I think Deputy is fine. That said, I, I don't like I don't like the idea of having a creature that dies and giving the giving a giving them a thing back. So, Mnemonic Betrayal. If you want to play a meme, you can instead of this, um, you can play essentially fewer cards that exile cards from their graveyard wholesale and then play more mnemonic betrayals you get kaya up to five then you mnemonic betrayal exile a bunch of stuff at once and then minus them i'm not a big fan it's a great meme it's a fantastic uh, art card but thief sandy once again if you're trying to be a little bit more proactive on your exiling thief sandy is a decent way to go unward ego if you're playing this in best of three play like two or three unward egos in the sideboard i'm not even kidding um Honestly, you could probably play a couple in the fucking main deck. That's how how ubiquitous decks are right now. Like you see you see a card, you see like land and stuff, you absolutely know uh, that you're probably going to be able to um, exile stuff. Thought distortion. I like this card against uh, control. Can't be countered. Exile stuff. It's fantastic. Um, probably two two ish in the sideboard against those control matchups. And then Erebus's intervention. I think you bring this in against... Uh, I think you do play a couple of these in the side, and you can bring this in against, like, super heavy aggro, where you're you're trimming down a, a little bit on your um, heavy exile cards, um, but this still allows you to get exiling in if you need it, but for the most part, it's removal plus life gain. Pretty helpful. We're going to open a pack. We're going to open two packs, apparently, because I have two packs. West Coast. California Love. It's it's funny, because I said two packs. like the Like the rapper. Anyway, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zen, for the continued support. If you'd like to join them in supporting the show financially, you'll find links to that down in the description. But honestly, the best and easiest way to support the show is just by tapping that like button, adding a subscription to your mana pool, casting a comment in the comment section down below, passing the turn and the vid to some of your friends, and of course, until next time, I will be one.